So she's taking a lot of heat online because she said that she wouldn't date a certain profession that she figured was below her, right? Yeah, that's true. Her name is Ebony K. Williams, and she's a former star of Real Housewives of New York. She's also a lawyer and a television host, and she has been in hot water for about a week now, ever since she made these comments. And it all started when she was on a show called The Grio with Ayanla. And she was they were talking about women and femininity and ways to kind of uh, set yourself up today as a woman to get the men that you desire mm. as opposed to the men that you feel like you have to settle with. And in that topic, she was blatantly asked if she would date someone who was a bus driver. And this was her response. I know that you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, <laughs> they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's, a problem. that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm -hmm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus. If he was a man of integrity, mm -hmm. if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well. So obviously we can debate whether or not that was a comment that was based upon preference or if it was an insulting comment. But before we do, obviously that stirred up a lot of different comments online and people were weighing in on how they felt about her comments and if it was relative to what she was trying to say about a woman knowing her worth when she dates. And so when people started to ask that question and she started to get some heat, she doubled down on it with this. So out of the 50,000 plus comments posted on social, I only saw a handful that even considered the possibility of a bus owner being a more aspirational position and recognizing that I am actually speaking and pouring into the ascension of black men when I said what I said. But see, no, some of y'all were too busy naming and shaming me personally and black women in general as undesirable gold diggers and much worse. Now, I suspect that some of y'all are the same men that were bringing home C's and D's on your report cards, only to then be coddled by parents that said, well, that's okay, as long as you're doing your best. Well, listen, I love and believe in the excellence of black men. So no, my dear, C's and D's or any other form of mediocrity is not okay. No, I will not create a soft place for you or anybody that I love to fall comfortably into the bigotry of low expectations. Ooh, um, it feels like the, the debate has changed now because I feel like it got racial there and I, I don't feel qualified <laughs> to speak on the, be on the behalf of, of black, single black men. Right. The, uh, <laughs> yes. The, the, so the racial part of it is um, basically she, in her mind, is trying to speak to, not, to black women about knowing your worth, about not settling for less if you feel like you desire or want more. And in her mind, she's speaking also to black men, saying that you should not settle for mediocrity. You should be wanting to do more with your life, I guess, than just be a quote-unquote bus driver. I think knowing your worth as a woman isn't about the man's position and his what his job is or how much money he has in a bank account. I think knowing your worth as a woman is being treated respectfully and properly by another human being, not the fact of whether or not he's a bus driver. Like to me, like who you date and what they do is um, not as important as who they are and how they treat people. That's exactly how I feel. That's where I think she went entirely wrong with the message. I feel like in the beginning she started off as if she was trying to speak to black women particularly about, okay, Know your worth. You don't have to settle for somebody that is uh, mediocre. But to say that someone who drives a bus, I didn't, I didn't understand that because now you are putting what someone does a ahead of their character. Yeah. Like you don't, you don't, you know what I mean. Someone who has a lot of money may be a horrible individual. Mm -hmm. How is that any better? Like a bus driver who is like, not to mention, 
a lot of people who are successful needed a bus driver at some point. And you're <laughs> looking down on this job. And I didn't understand throwing any working class citizen under the bus, mm-hmm. pun intended, in order to try to <laughs> prove a point of knowing your worth as a woman. I didn't understand that. I want to piggyback on what Mo was talking about as far as um, women knowing their worth. Because I came in here with two examples today to talk about, but I didn't know you were going to do this story, and I didn't know that they were going to be so close to each other. And I don't know where the shift has happened, but I saw two examples over the course of the last two weekends with girls slash friends of mine or Tiffany's where I thought, why are you letting these guys get away with what I consider to be disrespectful and going out with them anyway? I don't know because I haven't been out there in a long time. If the talent pool is really, really shallow now, so women and men have had to lower the bar more and more and more for what is acceptable. But let me give you the two examples I came in with today. And now I guess it's all under this umbrella of knowing your worth. So one of Tiffany's friends um, met some dude, I think, online. And some of my details are going to be a little sketchy. Um, meets a dude, dude online, or maybe she met him out, thought he was hot. They approached each other, got phone numbers, started texting each other, decided that they were going to go out for dinner on Saturday night. Okay? For dinner and drinks on Saturday night. So I think during the week he kind of went MIA and... This good friend of ours was sitting at our house on Saturday and still hadn't heard from the guy, right? So my thought was, if this dude, you guys haven't reached out to each other and he said, I'll reach back to you for dinner and drinks and he hasn't gotten back to you yet, blow him off for the night. Mm -hmm. Don't pursue that, dude. Well, she ended up texting him. He texted back. She texted him. He texted back. She's like, screw it. I'm just going to call this guy. So she calls him. Where is he? At dinner with a bunch of friends. Wow. And says, hey, I'm at dinner right now, but I'll meet you for drinks afterwards. Mm -mm, Nope. She's all right. Hangs up on the guy, tells us what's going on. And I said, under no circumstances should you meet this guy out tonight. No freaking way. That was totally and completely disrespectful in my eyes. Eh, she went anyway. (sighs) And reported back the next day that he was a complete douchebag. Whoa, shocker. Well, well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could have told you that before drinks. Right, <laughs> right. But why even, to me, the offense was so disrespectful that why is it okay, not just in her case, because I got a second one also that's similar, in that this guy, this is a different woman now, they made plans three different times to go out with each other. He canceled three times at the last minute and said, Let's just make it next weekend. Last minute. Not the day before, not two days before. And she said yes all three times. So you're saying these infractions are completely worthy of never contacting this man again. But because, I don't want to say because women are desperate, but you're thinking maybe because there's a lack of viable bachelors that women are just putting up with subpar behavior? I'm not thinking at all because I haven't been out there in a while. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But I do know this, that if this happened to me, that I feel like that's all that is so disrespectful and Mm -hmm. this is going to be the first interactions that we have, then I don't, I hate to use the word training, but I am showing an example that this is what I'm willing to put up with on the first date. It should never get any better than it does in that first month (laughs) that you guys are dating, right? So if this is the foot that he or she is posing first, I think it speaks volumes. 100%. And it's a really harsh way to put it, but I feel like it comes from a scarcity mindset. And for good reason, as somebody who's been out there and I've seen what the options are and um, have chosen to be single for a long time, I, I think a lot of the reasons why we put up with some of that treatment is just because, well, it would just be nicer than being alone. You know, I think sometimes... Would it though? I mean, for some people, they would rather be with somebody who treats them like, eh, rather than be by themselves. And the reason I've been by myself for a long time is because I love being by myself. I love (laughs) watching Bridgerton and eating some ice cream. Like, I want to do that after the show. Like, I love that. But some people really do feel um, just better in the company of having a companionship, even if it's crappy. I I agree. I don't want to mansplain, but I in listening to women who have been in these situations, that's 
that's the majority of what I've heard them say. And is basically you you start to lose patience and you you may gain a little bit of desperation in that not believing that someone better will come and you don't want to be alone. You've been alone for a little too long. And I I have heard a, a lot of women say, you know, I, I would rather be with someone than to be by myself. Mm-hmm. And if you did have the mentality of I'll be by myself for as long as I have to be until I meet someone who matches my energy then I feel like you would find yourself in better situations. But I don't think, especially younger women, until they get that understanding of mm-hmm. knowing their worth and not being insecure, I, I think they settle a lot of the time. Yeah. Give give women, Mo, as a guy that's single and dating, although you've been serious with somebody recently, um, give them a page out of a dude's playbook, right? Are women allowing guys to get away with too much? And is there a lesson to the cliche, men are hunters, let them hunt? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I remember someone told me uh, when I was younger, like uh, a woman should understand that a man will only get away with what you allow him to. And it, that's basically what it boils down to is most men, unfortunately, in my opinion, especially younger men, are not going to step up to the plate and be men just because. They kind of have to learn that. You go through a process and if you if you allow yourself... If you allow a man to treat you a certain kind of way and you don't demand better, it's unfortunate, but most of the time he's not just going to give you better. Like, that is literally something that you have to demand, you have to require, you have to set a standard for yourself. And once you do that, you are only going to attract a certain kind of men. Energy is going to match energy, vibe is going to match vibe, and you're going to start to realize, like, all of these men are not that bad. Mm -hmm. It's just that you're allowing yourself to be taken advantage of by men who shouldn't even have a minute of your time. I also think if you have that mentality that Abby was talking about, like, I'd just rather be with somebody than be alone that's a relationship that's on a timetable anyway because you're only going to put up for that crap for so long before you return back to who you really are so man i would say hold out and you'll find yourself a better dude right be patient you should not settle for anything less than you feel like you are worth you just have to be patient sometimes the bird show like what you just watched well you can get way more of the bird show on apple spotify stitcher or wherever you get your favorite podcast